Shulin's grandpa's uh, book is about a Chinese girl, little girl called Shulin. She came to England with parents and it's all about how did she start the new school. When I first read his story, uh, there were two things really inspired me. One is the story itself, uh, because the story brought my memory back when I was a child. And I can easily imagine myself as a little Suling. The second inspiration was, um, I really love the story in the middle part, there's a Chinese painting. So I was very excited that I can pick up my materials and do Chinese painting again. I started to illustrate the story from this page. Why did I start with this page? One thing is the diversity in the classroom. So I have uh, three children. They grew up in the village school. You can see so many children from different backgrounds. They come together, they study together in the classroom, they play together in the playground. Let me say it's a such a blessed, uh, very rich, colorful culture. So I'm now going to do Suling the first day when she starts school. Yeah, I think she is feeling quite uh, nervous. So here I put the eyebrow a little bit the side going down so shows that she actually she's worried she's not that relaxed here is our Suling she's ready for her first day of school in this illustration Suling's grandpa came to visit the school and I think Suling uh, feels very comfortable and a uh, bit proud to show Chinese painting to the class is almost another introduction of herself through her culture and art. Based on the story, the text gives me a great inspiration, but I always try to add something additional to hide some secrets in the images. So if we start from Shulin, I have a magpie on the plum tree. Here's a fox backpack and a mummy's handbag with the peonies. Here's a mummy bird, feeding baby bird. There's a nest under the corner. And look over here, we have birds on the roof. Some of them made a poo there. And there, somebody lost the toy car and the a balloon flew away. This is a page when the teacher talking about all the different um, uh, elements from China. So Suli is holding a dragon puppy and uh, teacher is holding a book with a panda on the cover. And look over here, what do we see? Oh, there's a fan. So while they are talking about all the stories from China, there's a Chinese dragon coming to visit. So I use the paper cut, the bright yellow color go over the whole page so you can see that's a magic about a paper cut you can see through all the children underneath some of them actually imagine the dragon is there so they are looking up so when you do a book you can always think about what something special for you you can hide in your book